All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai Nine Twenty Two. Uh, I was trying to do Hunter Hunter. This isn't working. It was skipping too much. I had to delete that one. But yeah, Hunter Hunter episode one hundred four. Holy shit! Holy shit! Well, let's get into. Let me just get into the bare bones here. We had Nove and him doing his hide and seek thing. We got an explanation of his ability in this episode. That was pretty interesting. I, li I like how they did that. I thought that was very interesting how they pulled that off. Um, you know, they explained how, you know, his ability, he hides in one place, but it allows him to go into this, like, this four-floor space. That, that was, I was like, wow, really? You know, it was pretty crazy explanation. And then basically he's saying that, it was saying that, you know, the only way for him to get out of there and go into the where he came from from another portal portal, he needs a master key, and he goes through it and everything. Well, that was a pretty interesting explanation. Then they had Moral. Oh my god, yo! This guy totally pawned Cheetah. Just like... He was dumb. He was just walking around. He was chilling out. And he pawned him. He just pawned him. It, it was just like... It was on some, I don't want to say Major Eisen shit, but, oh my god, he just basically said, oh, I have to run around and catch you? This was like, that was the whole spiel. In order to get out of that space they were in, he had to catch Cheetah. He doesn't do that. Oh, he basically walked around, walked around, and the entire time he's doing that, he had a rope on Cheetah's leg. I was like, yo! And it didn't end there. No, it didn't end there. And she just like trying to get away. He grabs some shit. I was like, yo, freaking unbelievable. Came out of left field. And then what happens is Cheetah tries. He creates this weapon, this like weapon with a claws and a, just a crossbow. And he more like. And he hits him, and you think, oh shit, he got him. And he's, he was being really crazy looking, Cheetah, because obviously he was... That was a decoy. Then he attacks. It was a smoke clone. I was like, yo. That was fucking awesome. And he just touched it, and I was like, oh my god. What an episode from that. Just, oh, he just pawned, he pawned him so bad. It was, like, so freaking bad. Uh, and he basically got out, they, he touched him, and he, he got out of the space. That was freaking amazing. Yo, I was, I was floored. Completely floored. Completely floored. Five out of five for this. More or less. Um, and then when the episode, well, the episode wasn't done, um, we had um, Leo Rill, you know, the lion. And he finds out that it was Nov. He basically took out um, Flutter, the dragonfly. And because he took out Flutter, all the dragonfly satellites that they, he had were gone as well. So they didn't know where the enemy was. Because there were two guys with him. This shrimp and a wolf. And they were going to send... They were sending there to go take out the enemy. Now, we get introduced to a new ability from this guy. Leo, Leo Rell. This ability allows him to, I guess, borrow someone else's powers. And he was able to borrow Flutter's powers for the moment. And the whole bit about this ability was, you need to at least do t have two conditions in place in order for you to do it. Number one, you know the name and the power of that ability. And obviously, number two, you have to... Um, Oh, do a favor for them. So he met two conditions. And he was able to create it, and he rips up this paper, and he has the ability. And then they're gonna, gonna go in and find the enemy. And then the other, the, but that was the, there were minor things. That I like the explanations. Was Marion? Yo, this Marugi, Mer Morugi girl. I don't want to say this, but she's got Marion wrapped around her finger. Wrapped up, you know that song. 
Because in this episode, they're playing that game. And they're playing a game. And um, it's like he does this one move in the game. In the board game that, uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's so hard to say that name of the game. But Megumi countered Miriam's move. And it was supposed to be flawless. Flawless. He should have won the game. He lost. I was like, oh my god. And the look on Miriam's face. Yo, that was crazy. And she explains why she was able to counter him. Because she's encountered these moves that he did, she created. And and the entire time she's she's talking and everything and and the Royal Guard guy, he's there and he's basically saying to himself, This is the first time the king has listened this long to somebody. So already you see these slight indications that Miriam, with her, it's not the same as it was with everyone else showing up. Because everyone else committed suicide or he killed them. But this girl is sort of changing him. And then, you know, she said, he basically tells her to go rest and everything. And towards the end of the episode, that was crazy. Because he's basically there, he's in his throne room, and he's like, he doesn't understand why he wants to continue playing with her in this game. He's enjoying himself. Even though he's losing, he doesn't understand it. And I was like, this is where changes, this is where it's going to start. At least from what I'm seeing. Because now... He's not going to be the same person. At least from my point of view. He doesn't seem like he's going to be the same way anymore. He's going to be turned completely different. As we go along in this arc. So, great episode. Five out of five. I, I definitely want to see how Miriam's going to change. Because that's what I see from here. I see him changing from this. I see him changing from this game by this game, this board game um, that he's playing with this girl. He's not going to be the same. He's going to be totally different. And I think that's where this relationship pulls, falls into play between him and her as we go along in the Khmer Antarch, which I'm definitely looking forward to. But... The highlight, obviously, was moral. I mean, like, oh, man, he totally pulled the... I was like, the facial expressions were god crazy. Oh, man, such facial expressions. God damn amazing. Um, and what I mean is by Cheetah and Maul. Those, those, well, mostly Cheetah. He was like... Ah, it was just awesome. It was awesome. But yeah, just a great episode. Five out of five. Hunter, Hunter. See you guys later. After this, we'll do One Piece. Okay? Bonkai Nights for two. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. The virus was 104. You didn't notice. I'll see you guys later.